look at the main gate. Uh, the side door, the side posts are cement. This is a sign of modernization. But the lintel is original. And the capitals on the two sides of the lintel are original. And what is the tree that you see on the capital? A date from tree. Right. Friends, how do people welcome Jesus into Jerusalem? What do they wave in their hands? Why palm fronts to the Prince of Peace instead of olive branches? Is there anything in the in the uh, uh, palm tree in the front of the palm tree uh, that hmm? they what? Thank you. You're getting closer, no, but not exactly that. Yes, uh, this the symbolism behind the behind the uh, uh, the day tree because it's tall. It is independence, freedom. And under the noses of Roman spies, people are trying to pass to Jesus a certain idea. Hosanna. What is Hosanna? Save. What do they wave? Save us and help us to get freedom again. And his basic answer will be, mine is not this kind of a physical freedom. All right, so look at that symbol up there. One entrance, two side entrances, and in a moment we'll enter into the synagogue and we'll find out from when this synagogue is. Come in here and to the right. I don't have much shade for you this time of the day. But whatever there is, I'll take advantage of it. Together with you. Yes. Where? In, in, when did you buy the aunt? In, 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 in Cairo? This is not the aunt. The aunt is this one. Yeah. All right. In Cairo. Okay, uh, friends. Father Corvo, whose name I've mentioned before, dug over here under the floor of this structure and left this corner open, claiming, right or wrong, but claiming that what you see down below remains of an older and an earlier structure. Right over here you can see it's the corner of it, and this standing stone is one of the doorposts. To enter into this room or into this early house, which must have been the, the synagogue at his time. Uh-uh. Why? Number one, because he, Father Cavo, knew that where we are right now is out of all proportions for ancient times and it is not for the time of Jesus. But what was his decision that made him claim that this was? Is the idea that in all cultures practically, we see that one shrine is built on the other. Even when it crosses religions, one on top of the other. 